everyone and welcome to our Monday Minute. Today we're going to discuss the 2024 Home Health proposed rule. This rule was not surprising, but was very disappointing. Um, the disappointment primarily lies in the decision by CMS to implement the behavioral adjustment in full force. Um, last year, as you know, currently in 2023, um, we are dealing with a reduction in the base rate of 3.65%. They are proposing for 2024 to take the remainder of the behavioral adjustment to a reduction in our permanent rates of 5.65%. That would net for 2024 to a 2.2% reduction in payment when taking into account the increase in the market basket, productivity adjustments, etc. A reduction in payments in a time when home health is one of the most critical aspects of health care that exists, especially in the Medicare program, um, is very um, discouraging, um, almost a slap in the face, honestly. Um, CMS um, has made no um, effort to give us the details of exactly how this calculation has been made and the details that have been given um, are not logistically sound. They don't uh, truly, um, what's the word, reveal um, or take into account exactly what is occurring in home health. Um, as a result of this proposed rule, the National Association for Home Care and Hospice have now filed a lawsuit against CMS um, specifically related to this behavioral adjustment. In addition to that, um, we have bills uh, currently um, circulating that we need you to ask your representatives to sign off on those bills um, by Senator Collins and Stabenow um, will force CMS to not take these reductions until a methodology uh, that would be agreed upon um, is implemented to make the calculation. Uh, I am going to provide for you today um, a link to both of those things. Um, first of all, uh, to make comments on the proposed rule, we will also send you a link um, to where you can send an email to your representatives basically at the click of a mouse um, to ask them to sign off on these bills that would stop um, the CMS regulation from reducing our rates. In addition to the rate situation, they have adjusted all case mix weights. They have adjusted loop of thresholds. They have adjusted the points used in calculating the functional scoring of the PDGM model. And they have made some changes to the, to the value-based purchasing model that will go into effect January 1st of 2025. So we do have a year to adapt to those. The changes to the value-based purchasing model include a removal of the 1,800 items in the total normalized composite change measures to a measure that will be used um, or be calculated upon discharge um, utilizing the GG item set from the OASIS. This is moving us toward a place where we've known for a very long time we would once uh, get to and that is removing the 1,800 items from the calculation of the PDGM model as well and making that the GG items. That was not in this proposed rule, but we do anticipate it happening in the very near future. I say that to say the GG items have been ignored by many agencies and not a huge emphasis put on making sure that education surrounding the GG items occurred within your organization. Um, please don't let that be one of the biggest mistakes that your agency makes. Please make sure your field staff understand fully the significance of the GG items and now that they will specifically be used in calculations of measures in the value-based purchasing model. Um, we, HPS, has a, an, has a webinar scheduled next Thursday 
um, specific to the home health proposed rule where we will be pulling that rule apart and going through some of the details um, included in that proposed rule and what you can do um, in process of um, preparing for the final rule that will be issued in November. We hope you will join us for that webinar. We will provide a link for you to register to that in the email that you receive um, as a result of this minute. Um, lastly, um, many of the state and national associations um, are still to have conferences this summer and fall. Um, at each of those, um, they will be discussing this proposed rule and what action you can assist them in taking to help stop it. Uh, please make sure you do participate. Thank you all for listening today and I hope you have a fabulous week.